Good morning. Oh, I am trying to do this, but the sun is definitely working against me. I just, I like to see sunlight when I get up. Um, I just wanted to come on because I have not done a reflection in a long time. Just a couple months. And um, I have some things on my mind and I just feel like talking to you guys. You guys are always there. So, I figured this would be a good way to get it out. Although, um, there are, there are a lot of things going on here that I cannot share. Oh, baby crying. Um, and it's not because I don't want to. It's because I'm in the middle of writing a book. And a lot of things are in the book. So I don't want to go off. You know, I can literally write my book right here if I wanted to. But I don't want to share but I, I really like to keep you guys on a level um you know the real the real guys this my channel is reality not reality tv totally unedited totally unscripted like right now spur of the moment i just picked up the camera i hear my baby crying um You know, it's good to be entertained with videos, but when I come and talk to you guys like this, I have a message because somebody may need this and I never know unless I share and I get the comments back. Thank you. I did. You know, I appreciate that. Or I get the messages, the, pri the private messages. <coughs> I am just like you guys. I go through things. Just like everybody else. I'm no different from anybody else. I just pick up the camera and I share. Okay, I am... I have been dealing with something for almost a year. Um, major. It has really upset our lifestyle. And some of you guys that I speak with personally know what's going on and, you know, the issues surrounding it. And... Uh, you know, but I just, I pray. I pray because that's all I can do is be obedient and pray. I keep praying. Um, it has slowed, slowed me down tremendously, but it's a call for obedience and that's what I'm doing. And I'm realizing things each day because I have more time to focus and reflect because of the situation so um i know things don't you know prayers don't get answered as we want them to that's not how things work and that's not what i want i know that my season is coming that i do know and so i just sit and pray. Um, so that's usually my first answer when I get, you know, I don't understand this or I, I can you help, you know, or this is going on. <coughs> and I ask, or I just simply say, you need to pray. And when I say pray, you pray, pray without ceasing. Don't pray today and leave the rest for later on. That's not how it works. Keep praying until you get your answer. Don't give up. That's that's what I'm saying. Don't give up. If it takes till next year, keep praying. Trust me. That's how I live my faith. It's so deep. I have braved myself through a lot of situations. 
Um, and I can sit back today and say, I remember when such and such was going on. Um, if you think that it's the end of the world, you need to think again. Because you haven't done all you could do. It's not. But if you have that mindset, then, yeah, it's doomsday. <sighs> so, like I said, there are a lot of things going on. And I just want to tell you guys today, right now, it is February 25th, that pray. Um, we have a major situation going on within the family. One of my kids, I am not going to share just yet. But, um, I mean, I have a lot. But as of lately, I have not. But one of the kids, we really need some prayer right now. Um, my 13-year-old son, namely. So, um, I'm going to leave it at that, but not a good situation at all. And I wouldn't wish any parent or anybody or even any child. It's, you know, that's my child and I have to, you know, I, I just, I can't even imagine. I can't imagine. All I can do is pray. You know, I just, yeah, I can't really <coughs> sit and dwell on it because it leaves my mind to wander. And, and that's, you know, I don't have time for that. I have other things to do. But I know that the battle is not mine, so. I'm not going to um, fight that battle anymore. I know it's not the end. It's never the end for me. And not saying that I don't see the hope. Sometimes, yes, I do feel hopeless. But, you know, or I feel the this, this situation is hopeless. And that's just because I haven't thought things through yet. I haven't actually sat down and prayed it through. I said, don't, you know, if I say pray, you pray. You don't pray today and leave it, you know, or pray today and tomorrow and next week and then leave it. You have to keep praying. So my, you know, this, this too shall pass. It. We will get some answers and we will get some, you know, what we need. Um, my other situation, my season is coming that I know. I'm just standing in obedience. I have taken all this, this year almost to sit and reflect. And really put some things into uh, perspective. And um, really thought about how the situation came about in the first place. Because that's how you get out of it. <coughs> you um, tell you God will not bring you to a situation and leave you. He will bring you through it. If you want to come through it. He will bring you out of it. But you have to be obedient. You have to really think about how you got there because if he brings you through it you could end up in the same place next week and in that case you were not obedient hmm some food for thought right so, um, but anyhow guys you know like I said over here I um I'm real. I, you know, this this is reality. This is not reality TV on my channel. So if that's what you're looking for, you need to, you know, turn the channel 
Um, I, I turn on the camera and I share things that I feel are relevant. When I come and talk to you guys like this, it's because I have a message. Um, and, and I'm not going to call people out, but people know. They know when they see it. They know it was for them. Um, the majority of the videos are like that. They know it was for them. Even the, you know, the educational part, it was for them. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not going to, you know, script anything. This is reality. I will share as I feel is relevant, you know, when the kids are, um, you know, I have the kids here. They, they, they want to make a video. You know, they're, they're used to it. They want to. If they don't want the camera on, you have seen the two-year-old tell, tell me to turn it off. I will turn the camera off. It's because I don't want to parade them. But if they feel comfortable, they have things that they do and they want to share, they'll ask me. <clears throat> but I'm not going to stop because one person is acting like whatever because I, I don't. That's that reality TV part. You know, you guys have to see that I go through the same things that you go through. My kids are not, you know, stellar um, just because we're on the camera. We're like you guys. You know, when your child's acting up and you're having a hard day, I have hard days too. And that's what I, I like for you guys to see that, you know, I'm, I'm just like you guys. Uh, I know a lot of YouTube channels are purely entertainment. You see a lot of, you know, edited scripted material lifestyles you know good for them kudos and it's those that you sit and wonder well, okay what's their life really like you know you can't really get in and say oh my gosh i wish i was like them oh their family seems so cool they just seem to have everything together those are the ones that you have to look at and say mm -mm, that is not real life okay it's not real life. Um, and it's the little things. And, and don't say you don't do it because everybody is guilty of doing that. There are a lot of, I mean, even this video, somebody might be sitting back looking at, looking at me like, she can't be serious. Because I see that I, well, hey. Call it how you see it. Call it how you see it. Um, I'm, I'm not, I'm not here to, uh, I'm not here for a dog and pony show at all. I'm not here for views. I'm not here for likes. I appreciate you guys, each and every one of you. When, when I shared, you guys sit and watch and comment, I really, really appreciate that because I never imagined that I would gain such an audience. <clears throat> Um, and I know not everybody watches every single video because it may not be something that is of interest to them. And that's fine. That is perfectly fine. But I appreciate it. Uh, and I'm not here trying to... Um, I'm not here trying to sugarcoat anything. I just... I'm here trying to capture some memories. That's perfectly it. I don't mind opening up like this. Um, is it easy? No. Do I have my camera on all day, every day? No. Some days I forget. A lot of days I get busy. Um, but you all are very encouraging. And... Um, yeah, you know, if if anything, you know, if there are anything, or if there are any questions you guys like to ask, feel free. You guys know I answer. I interact with you guys everywhere here, um, Facebook, Instagram. You know, I, I want to <laughs> share this and I'm going to get off. I have become friends with a great many of you that I... 
that we have exchanged phone numbers. So those of you that are fairly new, I pay attention. I When I interact with you guys, I really do talk to people that I talk to on YouTube. I really talk to them. I'm really friends with them in real life. Even though we haven't met, we have been friends over the years that we can call each other and let each other in like that. So you never know one day you might get that message and it may be hey call me so um, you know it's a lot of times I see people that I guess are watching me because they need something um, they're looking for something they see something in my videos and so that's why I keep it real okay I'm not trying to sugarcoat anything and say this is easy um, you know, raising a large family or, you know, even on the budget front. I'm going to be as real as real can be because we have been six figures, we have been zero figures, and I have lived it all and know how to maintain. So if that's something you're going through as a struggle, don't, don't, um, don't look at me and think, that's something I'm keeping or that's something I don't know about. I do know. I've been.